today we're going to be reviewing, in my opinion, and arguably the best swag on the market, the ARB Skydome Series 2 single swag. Uh, also available in the double swag as well. Uh, and the stretcher, and also I've got the uh, old series uh, ARB sleeping bag in there. There is a new one out, uh, but I managed to pick up the old one just for a little bit cheaper because I have one left in stock. Um, so if you're like me and you and you procrastinate, you search and search and search for the right gear that you want to you want to get, especially things are getting more and more expensive. Um, if you've been fishing around on Instagram and YouTube, just looking for for uh, feedback on the right swag, or if you follow us on our Just Gone Looking uh, channel on YouTube, uh, and you've seen the Weekender series, you would have seen me talking about this in episode one. And I'm thinking while I'm out here on my own, um, I'll probably go an ARB Skydome single swag on a stretcher. Uh, when I was sleeping on the, in the King's double swag on the ground, and the good old mate Baz, shout out to Baz, he seemed to think it would be better for me, as I get up a lot during the night, um, to get into a stretch uh, into a single swag on a stretcher, um, which is a little bit easier to get in and out of uh, during the night. So I, I shopped around a lot, did my head in. Um, you know, we went to a lot of camping stores, went to a lot of uh, expos and that sort of stuff to try to find the right one. I kept coming back to this one. It is a lot more expensive than the rest, uh, but since I've got it. Uh, I, I can't fault it. Uh, there is a few little things that I would have changed, but we'll go through that in the review. Yeah, hopefully this video will help you because that's what we're really after here. Um, we know how hard it is to search for the right gear and, and, the, and the stuff that you want to take away, and everyone's different. So we'll go right through the swag, the stretcher, and the sleeping bag setup. Um, we'll also do some other product reviews on our channel, and hopefully that'll make the choice easier for you um, so you don't have to go through the mind games that we all go through trying to pick the right gear. So, a hook in, we'll do the setup, and we'll have a little bit of a yarn about it later. It is mind blowing how easy this thing is to set up. Like, Shane and I actually had a really good laugh at it, um, about it, when we were setting it up uh, on our first trip, because it is, it is unimaginably easy. Set up, pack up, um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. We'll have a good laugh about it too. on what type of canvas it is and, and all the dimensions and all that sort of stuff in, the, in this little product review out here. But what I like about it is this nice thick canvas there. It's heavy duty stuff. Um, so keeps all the rain and the bad weather out and it also keeps the warmth in when it's all closed up. Um, so it's got a big flap on this side. Um, I don't know if you can get around the other side there, Shano, but um, on the other side, it's got kind of a short flap. Let me just open up here for you. Which is, I didn't really, I wasn't really too fussed about it, this short flap, because I like to be able to get out of both sides of the swag. Um, this one, you, you know, I mean, you could if you're, if you're small, but all the flaps sort of roll up. They have these toggles here. You can clip them up. My gummy hands will work. Yeah, so it's sort of the short flap over here. This is, I think, just more for ventilation, uh, this side. On the large side, this big flap here that sort of goes past the bars um, and just fold them over like that. Uh, or obviously you can roll them up and it's got the same sort of toggles on the other side to, to keep it pinned up. And then the large entry door here. To inside. There's also, uh, when you're camping in the summer, on the zip up. There's also this roll up flap on this side. Which sort of takes away the need to have those big long length doors um, to get the right ventilation and to stop that sort of claustrophobic feeling. Um, I found it did went a long way towards that. That feeling of being enclosed in a single swag, just to have these vents open, went a long way uh, to opening the swag up yep. and give you that feeling like you've got space. Um, and then on the outsides here, what, what I do like, I'll jump back to, to the swag set up on the stretcher. What I do like about this one is you don't have to pin it down. Um, you don't have to you pin it down to get the swag to stay yeah. out yeah. and off you. It's got the bars that do that for you. And if you have a look, I've just lift it up. The swag is designed to sit on this stretcher. Mm. So the, the, the uh, hoops or the pegs that come out 
to sit on the outside of the stretcher. So it literally doesn't move. Yeah. Uh, and we'll get to the stretcher later because the stretcher doesn't move either, which is one of the biggest reasons why I bought it. Uh, but you can roll around in it. Um, it doesn't move past where, you know, where the, where the pegs will let it, where the bars will let it. Um, which gives you that sort of, sort of comfy feeling. Uh, but you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to peg it out onto the ground. Uh, it's freestanding. You can have it on the ground, up on the stretcher, wherever you want it, um, and it'll sort of sit there by itself. Um, so you, you know, I've left these on, but you, you can just you can take them off whether you're on, on the ground or on the stretcher. The, you know, you don't need them. Uh, and then all of these sort of velcro up. So what is good though, if you do leave these on, is you can you can peg these out uh, when it's heavy rain. So the, so you can have this fly screen open inside here. Um, and it, you won't get wet, your head won't get wet, your sleeping bag won't get wet. Uh, or you can roll it up. Same sort of little toggles here. Keep them up. And then you've got the entry at the front there which goes straight into the swag if you want, want it opened up. But I usually have it as a fly screen closed. Uh, and then the same at the back end here. So, just a little Velcro flap, which you can peg out to keep your, keep your feet dry for training. Peg down, all right. Um, you just roll them up like that. Ventilation, and the same zipper fly screen there as well. Uh, so inside here, you've still got the canvas that you can zip up. I like to always have it open and then just tuck it under the mattress there so it's out of the road. So as, as so it goes a long way to, to not having that claustrophobic feeling in a single swag. Um, if, if you are, you know, if you do subscribe to us and you do follow our YouTube channel on, um, on episode one at TYB, I was explaining how the cheaper double swags, they just have the pole straight down the middle and the, the weight of the canvas and the fly screen sort of droops in so when you're rolling around in the swag, you can't roll over one, one and a half times without putting your shoulders or something on the actual fly screen or the canvas. Um, and it, give, it, it sort of promotes that, that claustrophobic feeling, which is, which is I, I had a single, I do still have it, I just don't use it anymore, but it's a single Burke and Wills swag that had no hoops in it. It's just a normal sort of traditional swag. Um, and the canvas is always sitting on you and it just felt, it's just felt too claustrophobic, which is, which is the big worry for me going to a single swag. Um, but with the, with the double hoops and the double bars, the, the room that you feel inside this is, is amazing. Like, um, I actually feel like I've got more room in this than I did in a, in, a, in a double swag that was sitting on the ground just because of that. And that's, because, be, of that feeling. that's because of the hoops here. Yeah, that's because of the center hoop and the bars. Sort of keeps you off you. Yeah. And these bars here. Yeah, you um, can see so the space in there. The space in yeah. here is, um, yeah. So if you were to roll over twice in a, in a, one of those Kings double swags, I don't want, not Kings, because they are a good swag for the cost. Um, I, you know, I've still got one and I'm still using every now and then. The kids roll around in two and Shane has the kids away. But, but the, if you rolled over twice, you'd get the same, the same room in here yeah. as, this, as this swag, uh, which is one of the big things I like about it. But opening these vents up goes a long way to, um, to getting rid of that claustrophobic feeling because it feels nice and open. And you can see up, up the back here. If I just climb in here for a second. Shane, if you can get in there, you can see that vent at the back there. Yeah. And if I get around here and just roll this one up like it should be there, then you can see there's nice ventilation here on the other side. And it honestly feels a lot roomier than most of the double swags out. Um, and a cool, a neat little trick. If I can find where it was. So if you unhook these, which I thought was pretty nifty, and roll that back down, they'll grow it up and come inside here, Shane. So unzip this fly screen. A hat holder. Yep. Oh. There's your hat. Hold it. <laughs> How cool is that? Awesome. Pull this swag back. So normal size, you know, mattress. I think it's 75 mil. But once again, we'll drop all the specs in the in, on the side down here somewhere. Shane will fix that up. But it's got one of those, those sort of bumpy foam mattresses, which is pr pretty comfy. 
And then if you can get in here, there's heaps of little storage phones and over this side as well. Ton of storage over here for little knickknacks. Well, I'll kick this back out. So we'll move on. We'll do. Well, I think we'll do the sleeping bag real quick, mm -hmm. um, and then I'll move on to the stretcher, which is which is probably my one of my most favourite items. So this swag, this sorry, this sleeping bag here. Um, it's the old series. There's, there is a newer sleeping bag out. So if you're looking online on the ARB website, you'll, you won't see this one. But this was just left in stock, and um, and they knocked a keep the money up for me to get rid of it. So uh, and I, I don't see what the difference is. Um, other than looks and I think the other one's canvas instead of this material, this nylon sort of material. Um, but if you get in here close, Shane, you can see on both sides, there's a little store, little zipper there, just for phones and keys on both sides. So obviously if you've got the sleeping bag spread out into a double, um, both sides uh, can have the, the little storage. Little this is in here. And what I like about it is it's got this, this sort of head flap that your pillow sit on. So my biggest sort of painful moment when with, with some of the other uh, sleeping bags out there, I had a flannelette one, um, I think it was Kings again, sorry Kings, but you make good gear and you make it cost, you know, at a, at a nice cost for everyone, but there is some problems with that sort of stuff is, um, if you're going out into really cold weather and you want that sort of hood, that flannelette hood that comes over the sleeping bag over the top of your head, that's fantastic, but I hated it. Um, I didn't get out there sort of into that colder sort of stuff where I needed that and it just always sat under the pillow and got sort of tangled up and everything and I swore at it every night and I didn't like it. So going to this sleeping bag, it's got this little pillow flap and I just sort of lift up the mattress and just tuck it underneath the mattress there, roll it under. And what that does, you sit your pillow on top and when you're rolling around in the swag or night, it actually keeps the sleeping bag in the right position for you. So you don't wake up in the morning and the sleeping bag's half under you and sort of all rolled up and keeps it all nice and sort of tight. Pillows just sit on top of it and everything everything stays where it's meant to be in, nice and comfy. And we were out in some fairly cold weather. It was close to, you know, it was in the low, in the single digits uh, at Lancry the Park. And I was toasting this, I was kicking it off me halfway through the night. So nothing wrong with that sleeping bag. We do live in Queensland, so. We do live in Queensland, <laughs> yeah. We weren't seeing any sub-zero weather. But yeah, absolutely ripping sleeping bag too. I don't know if you want to get in there, Shane, and have a pan around. So they have these little straps here. You can sort of you can put them underneath the stretcher and clip them up and tighten it up so the swag doesn't move. But I, honestly, like I, I move around a little bit at night, and I'm not the smallest fella. Um, and it didn't move an inch to hold the swag. Um, and the stretcher, talking about not moving an inch, like we must have looked at, you know, oh, 10, 50, you know, 10 or 15 different shops and you know, multiple, multiple different sort of stretcher setups. And every time I got on one, it, it, you just, you roll over and it moves for about five minutes after, you, after you've rolled over. Um, and they creak and they, they're just flimsy as. But ARB, have, r and was on point on this one. Um, and they've made all this bracing, right? So that the stretcher, not only is it the most easiest fold out and pack up stretcher you've ever, you've ever sort of owned, uh, but this, all this bracing means that the stretcher doesn't move a, a millimeter when you're, when you're sleeping on it. Um, I'll, I'll get in there in a second. I'll get in there now. And I'll show you what I mean. Like I'm 90 plus kilos. I don't know if that camera does it justice, but it's pretty solid. It is not moving at all. Well, yeah, we we uh, looked at some rickety, rickety oh, ones. Some of them are horrible. Yeah, doesn't move a millimeter, so it feels really, really secure, really nice and sturdy. Yeah, Shane's leaning on that, and I can't <laughs> even feel him doing it. Yeah. 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 So I guess um, probably while I'm in here, I'll show you what what I mean when I get out. So. The only the two down points that I've seen to it, um, one was yeah the stretcher is super comfortable, um, the stretcher and then with the, with the swag foam mattress and then with the sleeping bag underneath you, it is ultra comfortable. Like I I, I really can't stress how how much of a good night's sleep I had in it the first time the first night I went out in it. 
Um, but the two things that I did set fine was because it's single uh, and, the, and the stretcher is so soft and comfy, it kind of dips down like that. Um, and when you're, when, you're, when you're a little bit heavier, you find yourself in a, in a sort of rut in the middle. Um, so, uh, although it is, it is, I keep saying it's ultra comfortable, so I'll stop doing that, but although it is a comfy night's sleep, you do feel like you're sunk down and, and, and you're rolling up when you roll left and right. And the other thing too is, is I, as I mentioned before, I get up a lot, of, a lot during the night. Um, and to be on the, up of, off, off the ground on the stretcher, it's great because I can just sort of roll out and keep my feet out. But I would have liked it if this, um, this zipper part here was a bit lower. Because as you can see when I roll out, it kind of catches it on the back of your knees here. And you sort of pull down on it when you're getting out. And although it's super sturdy and it, you know, the canvas isn't going anywhere, I would have... I would have I would have liked it if that was a little bit lower cut. I kind of understand why they did it. It's got a big PVC bucket base, um, so you're not getting wet when you're on the ground. It's not, and, and because the, the, the swag fits the stretcher properly, um, it's outside the stretcher, which means no water can pool underneath in between your, your swag and your stretcher. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I'm talking about those two things, if I'm talking about the swag being too comfortable and I'm sleeping in a rut, and I'm talking about you know, me, the back of my knees just getting rubbed on a little bit of zipper when I get up during the night. If they're the two things I'm talking about, then they don't, you know, the swag's doing pretty well, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's much else to it. Um, they've got these two, let's pick this over. Shane, if you can have a look at it this way. The holes at the top here, I'm not too sure what, what the go is with the two different positions for the bar. This, Bottom bar here is shorter than the top one, and there's only one hole for it, so that's where that one goes. And then Shane, if you can look up here, there's two holes up this end. So obviously the bar goes in that end, so it can't get in that one. Um, but I'm not too sure why the two positions up here, because if you take it out and put it in that position, it's kind of a little bit flimsy. So I'm assuming it goes in that one, it's a bit more sturdy of it. So I'm not too sure what that one's for. Yeah, and the small door on this side, uh, I didn't really, wasn't a really big fan of this small door. Um, I would have liked it if, the, if they were up along this bar, both of them, so you could roll out of both sides. Um, that, they're the only, the only three things I can, I can sort of pick up and fold on. Other than that, so glad I bought it. I actually am. You know, it, it is a lot of money. It's, um, it's, it's, it's one of the most expensive swags out on the market. Uh, you can check with ARB and their product line and they, they do like a product printout with all the all the prices on there. It's a lot of money for me, um, but as I said before, uh, if you want to go out and you want to do the things that we do, you've got to be comfortable and you've got to, you've got to trust your gear as well. Um, so I saved up you know, for, for, for quite a while there. I think I mentioned it in episode one and, and we're at episode five now, so it took me five months um, to pick the right one and find the right one. Uh, and I am super glad that I bought it. Super pumped about it, can't wait to get out of it in the next trip. product review on the ARB Skydome Series 2 single swag, the ARB stretcher and the ARB sleeping bag. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it and we hope it, it gave you some insight into, into the swag that, that I use, that I'm comfortable with. Um, and I think it's all about us trying to make it easier for the community of people that travel around and see Australia. Uh, and, and same for us as well. We, we're out there, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, we're looking at product reviews, we're going through the same thing that everyone else is. We know how much it does people's heads in because it did mine in just find the right swag. 
So it's all about um, showing off the gear that we use, having a look at the gear that you use um, to make sure that people aren't spending their own money in the wrong places, and and they you know and they uh, they have fun in the gear that they can trust and and be comfortable out while they're camping. Yeah, guys, um, if you have any questions about any of the gear we use or want us to do a product review, make sure you comment below um, and let us know. We really want our chat to use and see what value we can provide for you. And don't forget, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell uh, to stay up to date with all the newest Weekender Series uh, episodes.